What's up, Home Slice? How it is? What you doing, doggy? Why are you acting like you like me when you hate me? What do you mean? I think you're totally cool. I even bought you that gift yesterday. That was just to throw me off. Secretly, you're brimming with hatred towards me. You dislike me heavily. In fact, you're smiling at me right now, but I can sense very strongly your disdain for my presence. When the moon is in the eighth house, this gives someone the ability to sense negativity as well as the inner workings of other people's minds. This is one of the most intuitive moon positions and even if it's not in a traditional water sign, this will activate psychic ability in the native. There's an indirect quality to the nature of the moon in this house that just naturally brings secrets out of other people. Because the eighth house has to do with other people's resources and also shared values, it's very easy for a moon in the eighth house to just feel what someone else's motives are and how well they can deal with other people. It's a bit similar to a mutable energy that will, like a chameleon or like a shapeshifter, appropriate their energy to whoever they're with, but instead, the moon in the eighth house energy will just intuitively gather deep secrets about others through their behavior, through things that they do, or through things that they don't do and don't say. Another thing about the moon in the 8th house, though, that might not be widely recognized is it makes these people really great at business, and in some cases, communication. It doesn't mean that they won't feel social anxiety, but there's an intuitive quality to how they deal with other people because of what their subconscious highlights to them about other people. And they can manifest a lot of money through this way too because they're naturally going to attract people who want to invest in them or naturally trust them. The moon in the eighth house needs trust. They're going to feel like they need people they can trust, experiences they can trust, and overall, anything that allows them to fully open up. As a result, Many of them, similar to a moon in Scorpio, can have trust issues that don't really let them open up as fully as they would like to. Similar to moon in Scorpio as well, a moon in the eighth house is also highly sexual. Not in a fire sign way, but if it isn't a fire sign, you have someone who's deeply sexual. It's more in a way where they can crave sexual intimacy and expression, but also harness it in the way that they do everything. To where even if they're reading poetry or even if they're running, they're going to do it in a way that brings out their inner sexuality without even trying. However, this is the same reason why some people with this position could be suppressed with this energy if they don't have the proper outlet. Another key factor here, when we look at the nurturing influence of a moon in the eighth house, their mother, or nurturing influence, taught them that they shouldn't necessarily reveal their secrets or who they are to just anybody. And in some cases, this subconsciously puts blocks to the moon in the eighth house person until they can subconsciously seek somebody who can understand them at a soul level. The moon in the eighth house person, similar to a moon in Scorpio, understands people so deeply but deeply craves to also be deeply understood. And until then, they won't necessarily just trust anybody. Regardless, it's still very easy for them to gain the trust of others because like I said before, their soul is receptive to how other people are at a subconscious level, which makes them masters of dealing with other people. Yeah, you could totally trust me with that. I won't tell a single soul. I know this is very deep and important to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about, what about, how do you really feel about it?
because you're telling me how you feel, but how do you really feel about it? You can trust me. Is that how you feel for real? I'd so love to help you. We have to have sex. See, my sex magic can heal you. You just have to trust me, of course. In conclusion, if your moon's in the eighth house, you have a soul that's definitely able to make you infiltrate the worlds of others and really just attract other resources from other people to you, either to manage, to hold safe, or to use. Be very mindful of theft and be very mindful of trust issues because this is what you're here to really accomplish with your soul in terms of actually opening up and developing trustworthy bonds. And until next time,